Welcome back to another video. Now today I am with my friend Aubrey. Welcome her to the channel. She's officially a gecko girl. And today we will be fixing up another Now this our friends actually just got us. Um, so a shout out to Lady G and Tobias. They got us this beautiful tank. There's something in it. So I really want to thank these guys. I really need this tank a lot. So we have poured in some water. If you cannot tell, there's water right here. See? And we're going to dump some more water in. And guys. And then we're going to dump it out. And we're going to be cleaning this tank today. So here we go. Now this tank will be used for my Cobra Tail Guppies, and we're going to be putting in some sand, and it's going to look beautiful. I'm really excited for the sand tanks. In my opinion, I think that sand is probably one of the most greatest things for fish tanks, but probably not. I don't know if it's good for, like, big fish, because I don't want them to swallow with the sand. But other than that, I think it's really good for small fish like Cobra Tail Guppies, or any really kind of guppies, mollies, really any fish that you like. Neon Tetras, Neon Tetras, you got to love those Neon Tetras, guys. But um, we're going to be filling up the tank. My crewmate right now is filling up the tank. And that water looks kind of hot, Aubrey. Because it is. Oh. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> that actually is really hot. Did you film it? Yeah, it's on camera right now. We're rolling, friend. <laughs> what, is there a spider in there? No, look how yet white it is. Why is it so white? So, guys, I don't know why this water is white. I think we should put... Okay, so, guys... We're almost done cleaning, so I'll get um, you guys back once when we're done with the water and we're ready to dump it. Okay, you guys, so we're ready to dump this water. And what if you weren't filming? This might be a bit hard to dump. I was about to say, how are we going to dump it? Um, well, let's just... I don't think it's gonna work. Um, guys, we're gonna try to dump this. I'll get you back in a minute. Um, we're gonna try. We're gonna try. Okay, guys, this might be... This could end catastrophic, guys. We do not want this to take this This sink is so small. Oh, my God, guys, it actually really is. Oh, God. This might be a hard oh, one. Oh, my God. <laughs> I should use these paper towels. Oh, we might need a lot of paper towels oh, if we spill this. Oh, no. We might have not thought this through too much. Mm -mm. Okay, so guys, we're going to try to dump this thing. Oh, God. This is going to be a bit hard. Uh, I don't think we should do this. No, Wait, maybe. No, no, I think I know how to do this. Oh, yeah, yeah, we, we put it in the cup. Okay, guys, we're compromising right now. By the minute, we're, <laughs> we're compromising. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Aubrey. Good thinking, good thinking. Okay, we just have to get it low enough so we can dump it. <laughs> get the paper towels. Oh, we're gonna need these I guys. I smell it. Always have paper towels on hand when you're herping, cause things can get messy. You... At times. Okay. No, it's no, it's right here. With the wet. Oh. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, Aubrey, you can take lead of the camera now. This might be a bit hard. Talk to the camera. Sorry. Oh, hi guys. I'm Aubrey. I'm her assistant. Thank you. What if I just spilt it again? Oh, God. Okay, I think it's low enough. No, it's not. Low enough for me. <laughs> it's going over. <laughs> it's going over. It's going over. Okay, guys, here we go. We're going to drain it. <laughs> Okay, we're draining it, guys. Okay, guys, so the next step is to dry this thing off. All we Ooh, need to do good. is dry this thing off. And then we can put the vinegar and baking soda in, and I'll tell you what that breaking means in a minute. Are you filming me? Yeah. Okay, guys, we're gonna... We're just cleaning. And then your dad just walked down here, and there's a big mess on the thing. I know, guys. We are a bit messy workers, but it's okay. Oh, no. We have to clean the top, too. Uh, yeah, of course. We have to clean everything. Sorry. Another analog. So yeah guys, so the baking, the vinegar and baking soda actually causes a chemical reaction that will kill any nasty bacteria. Wait, really? 
Yeah, it's actually really cool, and I can't wait to show you guys this. Yeah, this is going to be way funner than I expected. Yes, guys, this is better than those stupid Coke and Mentos experiments. We're not doing those. Never here in the Gecko Girl channel, we're not doing those. Nope. We're doing the real deal. Mm-hmm. Then now this will be quite the experiment, guys. This is gonna be really. Cool. Do you need me to do it? Cause you're really short. Yeah. I do need a <sighs> Ew! It's wet. It's water. Yeah, I know. Okay, guys, we're gonna do the vinegar and baking soda right now. So here we go. We're gonna just go upstairs and get our supply, and I will see you guys then. Okay, guys, so of course our cameraman will be coming to help us, because why not? Everyone's welcome here in the Gecko Girl channel, guys, so he's coming to help us in a minute, but for the meanwhile, we're going to talk about um, what this chemical reaction actually does and how it cleans the tank up. A piece here, guys, never mind. <laughs> Okay, I'm right here. Yeah, we need the baking soda. Add some of our stuff. Okay, guys, so we have our baking soda and we have our vinegar, and now we'll be mixing this up for our taste. So, are you ready? Volcano. Really? That's how you make volcanoes? Mm. Oh, guys, if you ever did science class, then. Oh, I guess you guys are in for a treat. And if you ever did science class and you are really into tanks, then this is just for you guys. It's oh god, yeah. Smells like Easter eggs. Yes, it actually does. It smells like Easter eggs, remember? I know it's just like when you like stop eating Pop Rocks. Mm. Okay. <laughs> that should be enough. You have paper towels in You just dip your paper towel in mm -hmm. a little bit and mm -hmm. then you just clean your tank. Okay. I'll move on. So guys, we're bringing our vinegar mixture downstairs and our tank is ready. So all we have to do is just take our tissues, put it in, and then we just rub it on the tank and our tank will be sparkly clean. So, okay. First paper mm -hmm. towel. Can yes. I have one, please? Yeah, there you go. Thank <laughs> Okay. Here we go, guys. How we got my cut? You're still filming. I know. <laughs> oh, God, it smells. Yeah. Move. Move. I'm trying to. I'm so tiny. I need, I might Ew, need... you got it on me. Sorry. I think I need it. Guys, I'm going to climb on here because I'm way too tiny. So. Okay, there we go. Should we be touching this? Yeah, I can take this. <laughs> I don't know why I'm watching the outside. You should give it a good scrub down with this stuff. It's gonna need it. Who knows where this thing was? Hmm. Only the tank knows that. Okay. Can I sit on this table? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, guys, so we have finished that process. Now all we have to do is rinse it and dump it out again. And, guys, we can be on to the next process. Ow, I, I, ow, ow, I have vinegar in my cut. Ow. Uh, I got some vinegar in my cut, guys. One second. I have to clean that up. And I'll see you guys in a minute when we're ready to dump our tank. Okay, let's put the water in. You are. 
Oh god, this could end catastrophic. There we go. And then we just dry this off and we'll be adding our sand in there. <laughs> okay guys, let's go dry this thing off. I'll get you back once when we dry it off and the sand will be in there. Guys, so we pretty much dried our tank off, and now we will be actually going um, to pick up the sand. So I won't see you guys right now, but we're going to go up to the store real quick, pick up the sand, wash it, and then we'll be right back. Bye, guys. Bye. Peace.